What's up everybody? So lately I've been wearing my hair in this really cool two strand twist top knot bun and I'm going to show you step by step how I achieve this really sleek look. So if you guys are interested, please keep watching. beautiful people so yes don't laugh at my hair I know it looks a hot mess I will be showing you guys a, a lint check video uh, coming next month but you're gonna need one pack of braiding hair I use the shake and go Q braiding hair and a color number one my hair is a 1b but all the hair was a number one so I just grabbed that you're gonna need a hair tie or a scrunchie a brush and a comb I just use a brush and a paddle brush um, and some bobby pins and of course your own gel or edge control that you like to use on your hair so here I am, I am just taking my paddle brush and I am just brushing through my hair. The reason why I use the paddle brush is because I like everything to get evenly combed out and evenly brushed up into the direction that I wanted to go into. Using the comb for me, because I use wide tooth combs, won't allow me to gather my hair the way that I like to, so I just use a paddle brush. Um, you can use a comb if you like, or you can use a paddle brush. For this step, you want to continue to just go ahead and brush your hair up or either comb your hair up into the direction that you want it to go into to make sure that everything is even and smooth and you don't have any clumped up hair in the inside of your ponytail. Just taking my regular bristle brush and I'm going to go ahead and smooth everything out before I add my gel. and for the sake of my edges I'm using got to be glue gel just to make sure that everything is neatly smooth and even and also to make sure that my edges don't curl up because a lot of times my edges tend to curl up when I use regular gel on it but I know with got to be glue my edges will stay you know slayed and laid for about two days desired style or height I'm going to go ahead and add my braiding hair to my ponytail so in this step you're going to need a bobble pin just to secure the braiding hair or if you know how to add hair into your hair with braiding then you can um, choose to do that just to make sure that it's uh, nicely secured but bobby pins work just fine for me so I'm just going to go ahead and secure the middle of the braiding hair with one bobby pin Next 
step I'm actually showing you how I cover up my knot now this was a little bit challenging but I promise you that it's all going to come together and even if you don't fully cover your um, your ponytail or your little knot I don't know why I keep calling it a knot but that's what I like to call it my little knot so even if you um, have trouble covering it up I promise you it will all work together to a point to where you won't even be able to see your hair it'll all come together in one cohesive style Now that you have covered up your ponytail with the braiding hair, you're just going to split it down the middle and go ahead and do a, a two strand twist all the way to the end. the braiding hair all the way down to the end and as you can see I am getting flyaway hairs everywhere you're just going to gather everything up together and you're going to choose a direction that you want your bun to go into and just wrap it around itself if that makes any sense and while you're wrapping your, your ponytail around itself use bobby pins to secure it After you have successfully wrapped your bun um, into a little bun, not too strand twist, not thingy, <laughs> um, this next step is pretty much self-explanatory. You just want to secure your bun with bobby pins and secure it to, to your liking. Um, I think I used maybe about six or seven bobby pins for this whole style maybe less than that but you can secure it with as many bobby pins as you like as long as you don't give yourself a headache Now it is time for me to lay these edges down, honey. So I'm going to use my Got To Be Glued gel and a toothbrush that I use only for my edges. And I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and sleep down my edges or my baby hairs. Unfortunately, my camera did die during this step, but all I did was just create some little baby hairs and tie my hair down with a scarf for about three minutes. And this is the end result. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please comment, rate, and subscribe. All of the details will be listed in the description box below. In the meantime, remember to create your own type of beautiful. I will see you lovely people in my next video.